Hello. Hi. May I help you? Oh, yeah. Ma'am? I would like ice cream. What ice cream would you like? Ma'am? You should know what I want. I'm sorry, I don't have any idea what you want. Well, I was here last week and I ordered some ice cream. Don't you think that I would want the same thing? What'd you order? You don't remember what I ordered? It was just last week. I'm sorry, ma'am. I have a lot of customers. Uh, I don't remember what you ordered, but I would be happy to make it if you tell me again. I shouldn't have to tell you. You should already know. I mean, I get the same thing every time I come here. I am so sorry, but I honestly don't remember. I want double chocolate ripple delight. How many scoops? Two. Would you like it on a sugar cone, in a bowl, or in a waffle cone? Oh my gosh, do I have to spell everything out for you? Well, I am trying to make sure that I understand what you're wanting, so it would be helpful. A waffle cone. Do you want any toppings? <sighs> Chocolate and whipped cream. Okay. <laughs> I don't want it now. Why not? Because now you're just giving it to me because I told you what I wanted, not because you wanted to give it to me. What? I... I don't think I understand. It doesn't mean as much if I have to spell out to you exactly what I want, so I don't want it anymore. I do want to give you what you wanted. I wanted to make sure that your order was exactly what you wanted. I even went to the trouble of making what you wanted. Oh, so now it's trouble for you. I'm so sorry that I'm such a burden to you. That's not what I meant. That's what you said. So do you want this ice cream or not? No, just throw it away. Okay! Why did you throw it away? You told me to. You should have known that I would have eaten it. I can't believe that you just threw it away. That was an example of expecting someone to read minds. Consider just how unreasonable it would be to walk into an ice cream store and expect that the person helping you would know exactly what you wanted. Even if you ordered the same thing every time, the employee would clarify what you wanted before making it to make sure that you would be happy with your order. After the employee made your order exactly to your liking, it would also be unlikely for you to give it back just because you had to ask for it. The idea seems ridiculous. And yet, in relationships, our expectations seem to change. We have wants and needs. We believe that since we have been with our loved one for a while, they should know what we want without us having to ask. We may get angry if they ask questions about what we want because we believe that they should already know. There are even times when the person then gives us exactly what we asked for and we won't accept it because we had to ask and they just didn't know. In the healthiest of relationships, individuals are aware of what they need and ask specifically for it when the need arises. It's like ordering ice cream. Now consider this. Sometimes the person is not in a position to give us what we want or need or what we asked for. Hello. I would like to order two scoops of double chocolate, ripple delight, in a waffle cone with chocolate syrup and whipped cream on top, please. Oh, I am so sorry. We're out of that. At this point, the woman has a choice. She can become angry. You never have what I want. This is ridiculous. She can pretend that it doesn't matter. Oh, that's all right. Thanks anyway. She can also consider the situation and find another solution. It may look like this. Well, what I'm really wanting is something with chocolate and caramel. Do you have anything else with those flavors? Or like this. That's a bummer. I really wished you had that. I could really use some chocolate right now. Hmm. Maybe I can come back when you have it in. In the meantime, I think I'll see if my friend wants to share a small bag of chocolate with me. <laughs> it would probably be better off for my hips anyway or even like this. Well, that's disappointing. I was really looking forward to the ice cream. Thanks anyway. I think I'm going to go for a walk. In each of those examples, she honored what she wanted. 
and then considered solutions that worked for her. Healthy individuals know what they want or need, they know how to ask for what they need or want, and they also understand that they don't always get what they need or want. When that happens, they acknowledge their feeling and then find alternatives that fit within their value system. Ask yourself, how well am I in tune with my needs and wants? How well do I articulate this to others? How well do I cope when a person is unable to meet my needs? Do I act according to my value system? If you find yourself struggling in one of these areas, we can help. Call us today.